Hey guys, it's Jimmy25. Hope you're having a great day. Today I'm going to bring you a different commentary. Today it's all going to be about the synovial joints of our wonderful body. Okay, so let's get started. We're going to be focusing on the six main synovial joints, and here is a nice view of where they locate in the neck, the shoulder, the wrists, the knees, and the vertebrae. So the first joint is a ball and socket joint. This is a triaxial joint which allows it to have three degrees of motion. It allows movement in all directions. Examples of this include the shoulder and the hip. So we're going to move on to the hinge joint next. So the hinge joint, as you can see, allows movement around one axis. It only allows movement of flexion and extension. So exa examples of this are the elbow, knee and ankle. So as you can see here, this is the knee. You can either extend it or flex it back. Up next we'll be looking at the pivot joint. This joint allows movement around only one longitudinal axis and allows only rotation. Examples include the lower arm bones near the elbow and the skull or the vertebrae column. Next is the saddle joint. It has many articular faces that resemble saddles. Each is concave on one axis and convex on the other. These opposites face each other. It is considered biaxial and examples are the thumb, carpal and metacarpals. The last joint we're going to look at is the sliding joint. It either has a flattened or slightly curved face. The flat surface allows the sliding motion to occur smoothly and effectively, going backwards, forwards or side to side. Examples are the end of the clavicles between the carpals and tarsal bones and between the articular facets of adjacent spinal vertebrae. So on this display, as you'll see in a second, will be the, a diagram of the, synovial, the typical synovial joint. There are six main parts of this and I will show you a labelled diagram in a sec. Before I do that, I'd just like to say a big thanks for watching. Hope you guys learn all, all, a lot about the joints. And here, as you can see, are all the joints in action, demonstrating the movement they possess. So thanks for watching. Sorry there, my mic cut out. But yeah, so as I said, thanks for watching. And here's a diagram of the typical synovial joint. See you guys.